<clears throat> okay this morning mm, let's take it slow okay god that's loud um these shades are not coming off today <laughs> so <laughs> i'm kidding i'm feeling great um day three of the abanos festival for me the weather is incredible i'm having the time of my life so yeah it's good it's good it's good i'm not gonna lie it's tiring as a hell though like oh my god i could not do this if it was like like if it was another two days additional to like friday wouldn't be able to do it what's the exposure like oh my god that's bright as hell there we go is that better i think that's better right right now i'm looking for a taxi because i need to go to uh I need to go to the Falco. But before I get a taxi, let me just use my screen to quickly light my cigar. Much better. Okay, let's get on with the day. Okay, so finally headed off to um, the uh, Palco now. It's a little tough, like over the last few days, it's been quite tough trying to get a taxi. But I've been fortunate in uh, getting this beautiful classic car for a taxi. I'm here with Jose. Jose! <laughs> and uh, smoking this beautiful punch cigar. I've never smoked this before, uh, before I came to Havana. So over here, you can buy like a bunch of tins and they're like 35, 35 pounds, less than 35 pounds, for a ten of five of these that's crazy so i've been uh, not stocking up on these but buying like a bunch of them because they're like great cigars in between you know in between cigars so yeah punch triumphos guys give it a try it's an amazing cigar So this is the convention center. This is where all of the uh, meetings and the discussions have been happening so far. And you know, it's a pretty cool place. I'm not gonna lie. Air conditioning is great here. So I love sitting here. And one of the cool things that I've seen here is, uh, let me just put my cigar down for a second, is uh, this thing here. With this thing, right? Basically, I can't speak Spanish to save my life. I'm terrible at it. And I should really learn, and I am learning, but right now it's still in progress. But you put that on your ear and you can, you know, there's a translator which sits in that booth up there. And then, sorry for the shaky cam. When they sat up there, <clears throat> they're basically translating whatever is being said on the podium. So over here is where all the judges sit. So all the judges, all the people, all the, all the panelists, all of them sit here. They basically talk into the microphones and then you get like a translation, a live translation from someone uh, into your ear. So if you don't speak Spanish like me, because I'm a numpty, then you know, you still understand what everyone is saying. And uh, this is where the majority of the festival has actually occurred. In essence, like realistically, this is what the festival is. So for most people, probably isn't like the most interesting or most, uh, you know, fun thing to do. Uh, obviously, there's a party afterwards, there's a gala dinner, and, you know, there's incredible, like, dancing and music and everything and, you know, great food. So that happens as well. But this is essentially the festival. This is the Abanos Festival. And the festival is effectively a big business meeting, a big press meeting, a big conference. And... Uh, most people tend to skip this section. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently in room one conference center. <clears throat> that was Kirby, by the way. <laughs> He's just messing around. <laughs> He's a great guy. Um, so as I was saying, uh, I'm currently in the, the conference room, room one, because I thought I'd come here it's a little bit quiet. I can, you know, have a conversation with you guys. So I was just in the queue to uh, purchase the uh, 
the uh, humidor, not, not the humidor, but uh, the boxes of cigars that are currently in limited availability per guest. So if you went to the, if you, if you're going to the gala dinner, you get a ticket like this and you're able to purchase two boxes of the Quai d'Orsay uh, Especial de Rosso and uh, two boxes of the Trinidad 55th, 55th Anniversary or Robusto Extra. Now, these are not full boxes, okay? So the Quai d'Orsay is a box of five, it's a smaller version, and the Trinidad is a box of three. So, you know, take that however you like. But the price, the price of the Quai d'Orsay for a box of five is 257 pounds. I bought one box of the Quai d'Orsay I might buy a box of the Trinidad tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. Uh, the reason I'm hesitant to buy the Trinidad is because I've already got Trinidad Robusto extras. You know, it's like... <laughs> but anyway, uh, point being, £257 for a box of five. That is £51.40 per cigar. And it's a key dose. Like, it's not even like... I don't know. I mean, it is pricey, even here in Cuba. So... I, I can only imagine how much they're going to cost when they actually end up on the on the shelves. Uh, the reason why I bought it is because I wanted to, you know, it's my first time in a Banos. I thought I'd, you know, experience the whole thing, make the purchase, kind of like a memento. I'm not buying it to sell. You know, I'm, I'm just going to smoke them all. But yeah, I thought I'd buy it because it's my first time in the uh, in the festival. But the drama for this afternoon was that when I went up to make a purchase, long ass queue, right? Huge queue. And the queue was closing at 4.30 and it's like 4.15 when I reach the podium and I start talking to them, I give them my card details, we press enter to uh, make the transaction happen and he says declined. And I'm just sat there like embarrassed as hell, like what the hell. But then I quickly check my phone and I see that the money has gone. Like the money was taken out of my account but he said declined. So I'm like, oh crap, I'm sweating bullets, right? Because everyone's looking at me like, this guy, what's he doing, right? And I'm showing them on my phone, like, look, the money's been taken. The money left my account and they're just saying, no, 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 no. It's declined, it's declined. There's no way we're not going to do the transaction. It's declined. And this is an uphill battle. Like, there's no way for me to convince them because if their machine says declined, it doesn't matter what my phone says. Fortunately, fortunately, they pressed refresh. Uh, one of the, secure, one of the uh, senior guys comes over he just looks at the screen, presses refresh, and then he says approved. So I'm like, oh, thank God. So I've got my receipt now. I've got my receipt over here to prove that I've purchased the Key Dorsey box. And tomorrow I can go and collect it. But if I lose this receipt, that's 257 pounds gone. And, uh, you know, and now Kirby's taking a picture of me. <laughs> so yeah, that's the uh, afternoon drama today. Okay, so I'm in the taxi now and uh, I've just left the uh, Palco, uh, Hotel Palco Convention Center and uh, Danny was kind enough to give me a bunch of cigars which I was supposed to receive on Monday when I arrived but I didn't know obviously I wouldn't know what cigars I'm supposed to receive so she gave me like a, a, a little uh, pouch full of uh, cigars and some of the cigars are really nice I'm gonna show you guys this evening what cigars they are uh, but right now I'm on my way to see Kirby and uh, we're hanging out at his, uh, at his house or well not his house but it's like a house so it's not a hotel because you know Kirby's got a flex obviously <laughs> no I'm kidding but uh, well, I'm gonna go hang out with him I missed the van with him because I was hanging out with Damien. But uh, now I'm in a taxi. He offered to send me a car, but I thought that was just too much. You know, it, it's too kind of him to do that. So I'm in a cab and uh, I'm on my way there. So yeah, we'll see what that's all about. I just arrived at the place and Kirby just sat on the balcony enjoying a cigar. Look at it. So this place looks beautiful. Um, I think I've got to ring the doorbell. And a person called Monica is going to answer. And my watch has got tangled in my bag. There we go. So uh, yeah, let's see what this place is all about. Uh, 
I uh, was at Kirby's house. I didn't want to film too much there because, you know, it was a bit of a social and uh, he was nice enough to feed me. So we had uh, dinner there, it was lovely. And I got to hang out with Adam and the, uh, the crew. Uh, Kirby had to rush off uh, afterwards for a dinner. And uh, yeah, it was great hanging out with the guy, man. He's such a lovely guy, honestly. He's, uh, he's an amazing person. Um, and uh, yeah, Adam gave me a cigar, the Partegas 2020 Limitada, which is uh, called the Legado. I don't know the exact Vitola of this cigar, I should really look it up, but you know, this cigar, I have to say, maybe, I don't know if it's the company, I mean, obviously the company helps, the ambience helps, and all those factors make a big difference, but smoking this cigar, I gotta say, it's an amazing cigar. This was such a good smoke, smooth, like, it's not like many Partegas cigars that I've smoked before. This, this is one of the best cigars I've smoked uh, on this trip. So right now, I'm at the Hotel de Nacional or Nacional de Cuba. And Kirby's video is playing on a loop over here. Some music in the background. Just waiting to meet up with some friends. So I thought I'd uh, check in with you guys and uh, see how you guys are. So I decided to come inside because it's a little bit quieter just so I can film this clip. But uh, I thought I'd give a quick rundown on the cigars that I've received today. So I was supposed to receive these on Monday because I missed out on the press event where some of these cigars were supposed to be given to me. But uh, uh, Damie being the kind person that she is, she uh, made sure that I received them today. So came in this Abanos box or pouch. Let's call it box. Abanos box, right? And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cigars in here. First cigar is the uh, Romeo Julieta Short Churchill. You know, this is one of the better Robustos from Habanos. Uh, this one, the uh, Juan Lopez number two, and La Cohiba Robusto. I mean, these are some of the best uh, Robustos. This is one of my favorites. This is an amazing cigar. Second cigar that I received, the music's come back on, so, uh, you know, that, one, that one's rolling off. Second, in fact, I'm just going to take them all out because uh, a couple of them are, you know, singles, a couple of them are, are the same. But uh, I uh, received the uh, another Key Dorse Especial de Orso, de Orso, Especial de Orso. That's the Key Dorse, the new one, which is, uh, which I have bought a box of and I've received like three of the ones from the festival plus an additional one. So in total, I have five plus five. I've got ten. I've got ten of these bad boys now. So that's fantastic. I can smoke a few of them, enjoy them as well. Brilliant. Then I've got the uh, San Cristobal. This is the collection of Banos. This thing is big. This is huge. I don't even know what size this is. Like, like, let me put that next to the Dioso, right? Like, next to the Dioso, the Dioso looks small. It's not. It's a big cigar. This is like a, a Toro size cigar. So this is chunky and huge as hell. I mean, it's a big ring gauge. I think it's like a 56 ring gauge. Um, I won't be surprised if it's a 56 ring gauge because this is a big, big cigar. Third cigar is the Monte Cristo Year of the Dragon. I haven't smoked this before. I can't even remember what the box looks like, but uh, this cigar was in there as well. So fantastic. Can't wait to smoke this one. Um, the third, fourth, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth cigar, I can't even count today. Fifth cigar is another San Cristobal. This is the Exclusivo Cuba. And uh, this one I haven't seen before. This is still an anivers uh, anniversarial series. So the other San Cristobal, this is an anniversarial series as well, but this is another, but this is the Cuban exclusive. So I don't know if we were supposed to receive this, but this was in the box, which I received. So thank you very much. And the last one is the cigar for this event effectively and that is the uh, Trinidad Robusto Extra. This cigar, I've smoked a whole bunch of them and uh, like I said, I'm not certain as to whether I'm gonna buy a box of these because the box is, only contains three. It's a, uh, it's a little bit pricey and also, you know, they're gonna give like a bunch of these for free tomorrow anyway. So if they're gonna give me three to four tomorrow anyway, then I don't know if, it, if there's any point purchasing another three just to get that little travel humidor box or whatever box it is for the Trinidad Robusto Extra. But I've got another one here, so I might get another four tomorrow, so I'll be five in total. So, you know, no complaints there. But yeah, these are the cigars that I missed out on on um, uh, on Sunday when I was supposed, when I was originally supposed to uh, join for the press event. But these cigars have now been given to me. So 
so far, this is a healthy, healthy number of cigars that I'm receiving. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the money based on uh, how much people spend for the travel expenses and uh, the festival itself, but I think these are some fantastic cigars. I mean, obviously, these are not regular production cigars. These are expensive, like limited series, anniversarial series, and those kinds of cigars. Uh, some of you may be like, eh, don't give a crap about it, but I don't know. Pretty nice.